Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and for today's video we are going to be doing kind of unboxing <laughs> and try on of the foodie box from Glam Light. So this is their holiday foodie box and it is absolutely adorable. I mean look at this little man. <laughs> so cute. So I have done a little unboxing that I'll probably will be posting on Instagram. Always add glitter makeup. So yeah, if you want to go check that out, you can. But I am going to be putting close-ups of these products as well as me trying them on. So if you're interested in seeing what came in this holiday foodie box from Glam Light, then keep on watching. All right, so we are all festive and ready to go. I got my red sweater on. We got the green in the background, my wreath. If I don't know if you've noticed that I don't, actually haven't talked about it. It's a wreath that I made and it has the pink poinsettias that are like covered in glitter, which yes. And then it also actually has makeup as the ornaments. And like right here is the Natasha Denona coral palette. And then it has like, there's a Tom Ford blush up here somewhere. Yeah. And then the Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. There's the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick somewhere on there as well. Just a bunch of makeup products that I thought were pretty enough to be ornaments on a wreath. So that's what that is if you've ever been wondering. But let's get back to the unboxing. I'm getting distracted. So holidays, woo. Okay, holiday season, we're in it. It's here, let's do it. So I don't know if you've done all your holiday shopping, but when I saw this, I'm a sucker for anything Christmassy themed or holiday themed. So when I saw this, I absolutely had to have it. But opening up the box, I have it next to me because it's really like huge and won't fit on camera while I do this. But first off, it comes with a little thank you note. So it says, Dear Foodie, on behalf of the Glam Light family, we wanna wish you the sweetest Merry Christmas ever. Get into the holiday spirit with all of your favorite festive treats. Very, very cute. Also, there is a code right here if you would like to save 15% off at on your next order. So cool. I'm not sure if that's just for me or if anyone can use it, but I thought I'd show it just in case. So it's right here. Cool. <laughs> Um, okay, so the first thing is we got some lashes. So these are the gingerbread lash lashes from Glam Light, obviously. Super cute packaging. It looks like a little gingerbread house. They are very dramatic and very wispy. Um, I'm not sure if I will look good in these. <laughs> If you know me and you've seen my videos, Lashes and I have a very complicated relationship. Um, I will try these today, but I highly doubt that they're gonna be something that I wear on a regular basis. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. So I did decide to not try these on on camera because I am going to be including these in a giveaway just because I don't wanna waste them. I know I'm not gonna wear them other than for maybe a couple looks and I think they can find a better home elsewhere. So do keep a lookout for that, but they're super cute. I like the style, just not particularly for me because I go for a more la natural lash. So yeah, sorry I say that I'm gonna try it on, but I'm not. But I like them, very cute, perfect for the box. And I'm sure a lot of people out there will like them, I'm just, I'm a more natural lash kind of gal. I always wear makeup. I don't really wear falsies very often unless it's the magnetic lashes. So, <laughs> cause I can't do lash glue. Next up we have this set of three eye brushes. So they have this candy cane little, I will scoot over so I can insert it here, the close up of the box, but it's a set of three brushes that are these candy cane kind of patterned. Uh, what is this called? <laughs> I don't know. We have, this like fluffier crease brush. We have this kind of flat kind of packing brush as well as a little mini blending brush. So it's kind of more detailed. These are so cute. I love the handles. They're really soft. I have not used these on the eye yet. So we will be doing that today to test them out, but super cute, very on theme. Really, really love that. Next in here, we're gonna actually start with this. So this is the star of the show. This is the Glam Light Pie Palette. And yes, it's kind of moving around in here. It actually came in a little like thing that keeps it in place and protected, but I've actually played with this before because I needed to, I am insane. I guess that's the only reason, but I needed to dive into this as soon as it got here. So it comes in this little tin, not tin, this little cardboard box that looks like a little box of pie that you get from the grocery store. So super, super cute. So this is the pie palette. I kept calling it the cherry pie palette, but 
technically it is a cherry pie because look at these little red things right here. I will be putting some videos here as well, but here is the palette, super glittery and red. So, 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 so cute, adorable. I love it. You got the crust and it's actually kind of plushy too. Like this is how thick it is. It's actually like really plushy and cute. So I love that they chose to make this glittery just for some added pizzazz, <laughs> some holiday cheer, if you know what I mean? But let's open her up and there it is. So this palette comes with one, two, three, four mattes and one, two, three, four, five shimmers as well as this blush right here, which is the Cherry Pie Blush. And I had never tried Glam Lights formula until now. And needless to say, I'm in love. I love their shimmer formula so much. Their matte formula is great. I really enjoy it. But the shimmers are definitely a standout. I mean, so pretty. Look at this depth. Look at this shine. Like, it's just amazing. I'll swatch a few real quick. So here's peach, blackberry, apple pie. Look at those. This peach right here is a duochrome. So it has like that peachy to gold kind of shift. And the other two are just beautiful glittery shimmers that are absolutely fantastic. They look gorgeous on the eye. They're very long lasting too. I had this on the other day. I got so many compliments on it. I was so proud. <laughs> um, don't you love that being a makeup person? You go to a store and like someone comes up to you and he's like, oh my God, what eyeshadow are you using? That's like, it's girl flirting, but like friend flirting. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, girl, I need to be your best friend. Hi, what, is, what are you wearing on your face? <laughs> Does anyone else do that? I do. It happens. Like be my best friend. Your eyeshadow is popping. <laughs> but here are those shades swatched on my hand. Ooh, I need some extra brightness. Yeah, so here are those shades on my hand. So gorgeous. I wish the camera would pick it up properly, but these shimmers, like, I mean, they're stunning. Look at that shift. And they're just so pigmented and striking on the eyes. When it's kind of not focused all the way, you can kind of really see the glitter, especially at night. I mean, in lower light, you can really see these shine. Um, but I will definitely be using this right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in with the brushes. So I've tested this palette with my normal brushes and it worked out really well. So if it doesn't work out this time, it's the brush's fault. <laughs> Hopefully it works because this, this is so cute. Like I will say, this reminded me, sorry, I'm all over the place, but I will say that I wish that the design went all the way around the brush. See how it stops right before the end? And on this side, it does the same, like right here, you can see it cut off. Why did they do that? I wish that it went around and it has like that line in the middle. I really wish those lined up because that just makes it feel a little bit cheaper. It's really cute and I'm not mad at it, but I do wish that it maybe was a little bit better. It would have made it a little bit better if that was the case. Should we go more brown? neutral peach or should we go like pink hmm i think we should go a little bit more on the neutral side just because i'm wearing a red sweater i feel like the bright pink and the red sweater could be a little too valentine's day so that ain't the holiday that we're celebrating right now so let's give christmas a little bit of a time okay it's her time to shine oh my gosh why am i not doing this first you know i always add my blush before i do my eyes so we're gonna try the cherry pie blush first i don't know what i was thinking so we're gonna dip into that it actually picks up very nicely. That's pretty. I was really afraid that it was gonna be too bright of a pink, because in the pan it looks really bright and online it looked really bright, but it actually looks like a nice natural blush shade, at least on me. Um, it definitely has that like cherry undertone, which is perfect. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Y'all, I can't believe I almost forgot that. I am slacking. All right, Glam Light, I am going to need you to do blushes separate from a palette, okay? Because these are awesome. Baxter, what you doing? If you hear something crinkling in the background, that's my dog. Um, but Glam Light, I'm gonna need you to put these like in a palette, like a blush palette or a single or something, because I really like this formula. It is super buildable 
it's not overly pigmented right off the bat, which I enjoy in a blush. It's super smooth and silky and not patchy at all. And obviously like, see how bright it looks here? It's really not that bright when you put it on. So I could actually use this as like an everyday blush, which I am very appreciative of because having this in the palette makes it so easy to just grab this when I'm actually using this palette just on my eyes as well. So I'm gonna go in the shade Pumpkin and I'm using the crease brush from the set and let's see what happens. So it picks up nicely on the brush and I'm gonna use the mirror on the palette. Super pigmented, you see that? So I'm putting this kind of as my transition shade. So far, it actually is working really nicely. Picked up the pigment very well and looks beautiful. All right, I actually don't really need another brush because this is surprisingly working really well to blend that out around the edges. I thought it was gonna take a little bit more time to do that, but it's really nice. It's actually doing a, it's actually doing a really nice job. So I'm very happy with that. So that pumpkin shade is laid down now. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna deepen it up a little bit with Mud Pie, which is this shade right next to it. It's like a, it's like a brownish, but it has a little bit of a, a cherry undertone, almost a little bit of a peachy undertone too. But it's a darker brown matte shade. And I'm going to take that uh, little packing brush and kind of use that because it's kind of a similar shape to my Sigma one that I use. So I'm going to try that. This one may be better with shimmers, but we'll see. So I'm going to go into that Mud Pie shade and it picks up very nicely on the, sh on the brush. Ooh, that lays down beautifully. So yeah, I think this brush is probably not the best brush for what I'm doing. I think that one's probably better for shimmer. So I'm gonna reach into this one instead and go back into Mud Pie. This is that tiny little blending brush. Oh yeah, that works much, much better. That was just a human error on my part. I am not a makeup artist. I am a makeup enthusiast. I am not a professional makeup artist, so it's okay, people make mistakes. <laughs> and I'm going to focus that darker shade towards the outer corner. And I'm also gonna bring it just a little bit into the crease as well. All right, so I went ahead and added that darker brown shade. And I'm really liking how it deepened it up. It deepens it up a lot. Um, but I am gonna need to go over and, you know, kind of blend it out a little bit with that pumpkin shade again, just because, you know, I don't want it to get too muddy. I want that pumpkin shade to kind of blend it out and soften it. But I also did take that shade and kind of just go along the lower lash line um, just to kind of bring that color out. Just the excess though, I didn't dip back in. I'm gonna take that fluffier brush again, go back into Pumpkin and just focus it on the outer portion and soften those edges. Yep, that is what I'm going for. So I have it to the point where I like it and it's nice and blended out and I probably will go over it just with a like a bone colored shadow just around the very very edges just to continue to really soften that edge but it's okay for now. Um, so I'm going to go in with a shimmer next and let's see I'm going to see if this brush it feels very um like it feels like it might pick up their shimmer shade so I'm going to try that first. The last time, I prefer to use my finger with shimmer shades like this though. I will try it once with the brush, but we're gonna go in with that duochrome peach shade, just because that's my favorite one out of here. All right, so it's picking up a little bit on the brush. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it does pick up pretty nicely on there. So if you prefer to use a brush, you can do that, or you can use your finger. I think personally that I prefer to use my finger. So I'm gonna go in, just look how much that like really packs a punch when you put your finger in there. Oh yeah, much, much better. I promise I'm not trying to flick you off. I just usually use my middle finger for this. <laughs> and just kind of blend it in to that darker brown shade and soften the edges just a little bit. That is stunning. I love that. It's so sparkly, so pretty. And then I think what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take 
Nutty Pecan, which is this darker one right here. I'm gonna take that just a tad and I'm gonna put it right near that. So there's a nice little shift going. There's a nice gradient of the shimmers. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so gorgeous, that Nutty Pecan. Oh, wow, love that. I'm gonna take that and just kind of blend out the edges, just to soften those a little bit. Alrighty, so the shimmer has been added and on both eyes. <laughs> and I'm just taking that little detail blending brush and just kind of going around the edges of the shimmers. And it has like a little bit of that excess mud pie shade, but I didn't add any onto it again. I'm just kind of blending it out a little bit, just so there's no line. I'm gonna take a tad bit of that pumpkin, just go over it again one more time. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that mud pie shade just to that outer corner, just because the shimmer kind of took over a little bit. But I mean, it's not the shimmer's fault, the shimmer's beautiful. I just wanna make sure that that depth is still there. Okay, this is stunning. Here's the eye look. It's just kind of flamed out a little bit, just to a point on the sides, but it's a nice peachy pink kind of holiday look. This glitter on the eyes, it's not translating on camera as much as it is in person. It's super glittery, like so beautiful. If you can see it in person, the way that they shine, it's just unreal. I love it so much. Um, it doesn't have as much glitter as the Kaleidos shimmers do, like the, the really sparkly formula, but it has that same kind of transformative, kind of super pigmented, almost foil-like look to it. I don't know. All I can say is I love it. Very, very nice. I'm so impressed with this formula. So let's move on. I'm going to put on my mascara and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I've done my mascara. Is it just me or does this eye look make my eyes look giant? <laughs> I don't know why, I just looked at my eyes. I'm like, am I a cartoon character right now? I, I don't get it, but I mean, I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so this is just with mascara and absolutely gorgeous. This is a look that I would wear every single day. It's neutral-ish, but it's also colorful. So it's kind of a hybrid, perfect for the holidays, I think, because of that gold peachy shimmer and that pink, like, it actually looks good with the red sweater. I was kind of worried about that like bright pink shade in here if I was gonna use that today because of the red sweater, but I mean, come on, <laughs> super cute. And then we're gonna move on because there are a couple lip products in here and a highlighter. So we're gonna start with the highlighter. It's a little deep, it's a little deep for me. This is the Cookies and Milk highlighter. Isn't it supposed to be milk and cookies? Cookies and milk kind of sounds backwards, but you know, it's okay, not a huge deal. But it's kind of a bronzy shade. And see, okay, yeah. So it's kind of a bronzy shade, which could be a little deep for me. But, you know, it might work. I'll try it. Why don't I just hush? Like, when I swatch it on my skin, it kind of looks a little too deep. But, you know what? We're just going to go for it, okay? So, I'm going to take my like, precision kind of highlight brush. And I'm going to go in. I'm going to dip just the end of it in. Kind of knock off that excess. Actually... I think I can get away with it. I am shocked. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more because I'm wondering, did I not get enough on the brush? But it looks really pretty, actually. Oh, okay, I can see it now. So up close, it's a lot deeper than it's looking in the, uh, the bright lighting. It looks pretty. It is just a hair dark for me, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. It's a bronzy highlighter. I can fix it up a little bit just with going over it with a nice like icy highlighter. I can make it work for me, but it looks gorgeous. I mean, on camera, it looks so, so good. Up close though, I can, when I turn my face, kind of see a little bit of it, which is an indicator that it's a little dark for me, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make this side match and I'm gonna add a little bit of an icier highlight on top just to make it work for my skin tone. But if you're of a light medium 
if you're on the light side, not the fair side, and on, I think this is a beautiful highlight. So I'm glad they included it in here because I think it will work for a majority of skin tones, just maybe not the fairest of fair. Because it almost works for me. Like, just a hair lighter and it, I could pull it off. But I'm not mad about that, honestly, because not everyone is this pale. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this match and I'll be right back. So I fixed it up with my Natasha, Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter in Fair. And yeah, it looks beautiful. I think I'll actually do this combo again. I like it. I like that this Milk and Cookies or Cookies and Milk highlighter added this kind of rose gold to it. And then when I put the Natasha Denona Fair over it, it actually makes it just the perfect shade for me. So if I ever wanna go for like a rose gold highlight, that is a combo that I actually will reach for again. So I like the highlighter. I'm not as big into loose highlighters. I do have a couple in my collection that I like, but I don't reach for them as much as powder highlighters, just like the pressed ones. Um, but I still do reach for them occasionally, so I'm glad to have this in my collection, but it's not something that I'm going to be reaching for on an everyday basis. But still absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this glow that I have right now. <laughs> Super holiday. But the last three items in here, which I will show, the original packaging right here so i'll kind of scoot over just a sec so we have three different lip products we have two glosses i believe and then one liquid lipstick so the liquid lipstick is in this oh it's in red velvet and it's this red like deeper red shade actually it's more of a true red kind of like a blue toned true red and that's in the shade red velvet and I will be doing lip swatches of these. I just want to show them off first. And then we have another lip gloss, and this is in shade Pecan Pie. Absolutely gorgeous. That is a shade I could use all the time. And then we also have an even more nude shade, which is in the shade Eggnog. And it's this kind of light nude pink shade. So absolutely gorgeous so pretty love the packaging and they come with mirrors on the side how cute is that the liquid lipstick as well as eggnog came in this triangular packaging with a mirror on the side so you can actually apply your lipstick while you're out and with this so cool now the one thing is i will say these are scented so if you don't like that kind of scent to your lip products this may not be for you but we're going to go ahead and do the glosses first because it's going to be easier to wipe away so I'm gonna go start with the lightest first, and this is in eggnog, as I said. And the scent, let's see. It is scented, but it has the lightest scent of all three of them. Um, it's not bad at all. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of just like a sweet scent, like with a hint of spice in there, which is interesting, because that's eggnog, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do a lip swatch for you. So I'm gonna skew a little bit closer I should have done a lip scrub before this. <laughs> but as far as pigmentation goes, very pigmented. It actually feels really nice on the lips. Beautiful color. It does, it's not really sticky. There's like a hint of tackiness to it. So it's not like the most non-stick one ever, but it's also not sticky either. It's kind of weird. I don't, nice and shiny. Sorry, I'm looking over here. I'm looking at, <laughs> I'm looking to see what it looks like to y'all. Um, but yeah, I like the color. I actually think it goes really well with this look. This is probably the one that I'm going to get the most use out of just because of the color. I am definitely a nude lip kind of gal. So this works for me. <laughs> but yeah, I like that. So let's move on. I'll take this off and then we'll move on to the next one. So this is shade Eggnog. All right, so we did shade eggnog. Just a tiny, tiny bit might be left on the outside of my lips, but I'm gonna be putting on another gloss so it doesn't really matter. This is shade Pecan Pie, and it's kind of like a mauve nude. I guess that's the way to describe it. Woo, okay. This one does have a strong scent to it. It smells like pecans, like sweet pecans, so that makes sense for Pecan Pie. 
but it is a it is a big scent so so if you don't like scents this might not be for you if you don't like pecans it's not going to be for you but i love pecan pie so i kind of like it actually but it is a tad bit on the chemically side just a little bit i almost wish it wasn't scented is that sad i don't know but i like that they tried it's cute it's a cute concept so i'm not too mad i'm not too mad at it Ooh. That's a pretty color. Okay, that's really, really pretty. It has the same feel. Has the same feel to the other one, obviously, because it's the same company. So it's not quite as opaque as the other one, or maybe this one was just closer to my lip shade. And this one is just obviously not that color. So it is probably a gloss that I would wear over a lipstick because, or over a lip liner, because it does show through. My natural lips do show through just a little bit, but it's beautiful. It's very shiny, feels nice on the lips. This one still has that same, like just, just a hair bit tacky, but nothing crazy, nothing offensive. <laughs> But I do like the color and over a deeper liquid lipstick or over a lip liner, I think I will actually get a lot of use out of this. And the scent does not bother me at all, like while it's on. So yeah, I occasionally get a whiff of it, but it's not bad. <laughs> so that is shade Pecan Pie. So very cute, very nice. I like that. So the next one I'm going to try is the one I'm probably going to keep on <laughs> and it's the liquid lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this gloss off and I'll be right back. All right. So even after taking off the glosses, my lips feel really hydrated. <laughs> so that's really nice. <laughs> so the hydration will last and yeah, I like that, especially for the winter. This last one is shade red velvet and it's the true blue red. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on. I will say, like, I only took the thing out once. I think it's not as full, maybe. I don't know, because you can already see a hole in it and I haven't really used it. So that's a little weird, but this is probably gonna stain. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. Hopefully I'll have, hopefully I'll be wearing this red all day. Hopefully I like it, because I don't think it's gonna go away. Ooh. This scent I can get behind. It's cake batter, like <laughs> legit cake batter. I don't know what makes red velvet cake red velvet cake. So I don't know. It's not like distinguishable between what kind of cake it is, but it smells like cake batter. So I am digging that. And this is a liquid lipstick, but it kind of looks like a gloss on here. It has that same applicator, but this one's gonna be interesting. So I'm sorry if I have to skip ahead because it's gonna take me a while to get this to where I need it to be. So I'll try to speed it up or I'll skip ahead. So this is without cleaning it up at all. I might have to take a little bit of concealer and just go around the edges just a tad. There we go, that's a little bit better. <laughs> just to add that Cupid's bow back in. That is pigmented. <laughs> Um, wow. Okay. So yeah. Ah, the lipstick check failed. So a little bit did get on my teeth. Watch out for that. This is why I don't do reds. Okay. I think it was when it was in the process of drying a little bit got on my teeth. I think it's, ah, look, you see that? This is why I don't wear reds. If anyone ever wants to know. Anyway, so it does dry down to relatively transfer proof. Here, let me see, clean finger. Ah, nope, not dry yet. <laughs> so maybe it's one of those kind of like demi mats where it kind of dries down and kind of doesn't. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, look at it like, <laughs> my lips I I don't know I don't know how I feel about it just because I don't wear reds but it's a gorgeous gorgeous red it's a nice kind of blue base red very much matches my sweater that I have yeah very very pretty very perfect for the holidays definitely a holiday shade but am I gonna reach for it a lot probably not <laughs> it's really comfortable though like 
it dried down to a nice comfortable matte. It's not too drying, so that's really nice. I just am not like, I like liquid lipsticks, but if I have a liquid lipstick, it's probably gonna be a nude because of that reason, like it getting all over everywhere. Um, I will try using a lip liner with this next time. Maybe that will help kind of keep it all in place and hopefully not go on my teeth. <laughs> I don't know if that'll help, but I like the shade a lot, actually. It's really pretty. It's a, it's a beautiful red. It's very like, I'm a movie star, you know? I don't know. It's, it's fancy, but definitely not something I'm gonna be reaching for every day, but I'm, I like it, I'm glad to have it. I don't have that many reds, especially this shade of red. I don't have anything that's this shade of red. I have like deeper reds, cause that's usually like almost berry, but they're red, you know? But that's as red as I usually go. Um, this is like a bright blue based holiday red. So I'm actually glad to have this and it's really comfortable. I probably will wear this again, especially for a holiday party or something. We're not going to holiday parties. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. Well, if we weren't in the middle of COVID, then I would be wearing this to a holiday party, like a tacky sweater party. I love those so much. I'm sad that that's not happening, but there's a lot of things going on right now. So it's fine, but love the shade. Definitely out of my norm for shades that I wear but I enjoy it. So, do I wanna keep this on for the rest of the video? Mm, why not? Okay, so just to recap what we got into in this Glam Light Foodie Box for the Holiday Edition, I know that they just came out with another foodie box and it's the Chocolate Factory and it has a neutral palette in there. It's a donut, it's a chocolate donut. So, so cute. If I could get the palette by itself, I would, cause I don't need the other stuff that comes in there, but the eyeshadow palette in there looks really cute. It is a donut. So it's probably like very similar in size and shape to this, just a donut instead of the pie. But just to recap what we got. So in this box, we got the lashes, which I'm probably gonna be putting in a giveaway just because I can't wear these. Like I just know that I'm not gonna wear them and I don't wanna waste them just for one look. You mean, you know what I mean? But the other things that we got in here were the cookies and milk highlighter, which I have on underneath my Natasha Denona one, just because it's a hair too dark for me, but it's beautiful. It adds a nice rose gold tint and it's just a beautiful, beautiful shine. So I did enjoy that very much. And then we had our three lip products. So we had the red liquid lip, which I have on now in shade red velvet. We have the nude gloss, which is in shade eggnog and the pecan pie lip gloss as well which is like that mauvey nude and so those were really nice i like the lip gloss the nude lip gloss i'm probably going to use most out of those the red lip i like it's very new to my collection so i might wear that more honestly it's very comfortable and then we had the three brushes which are super cute and holiday themed they have they actually performed really well this one, I'm not sure exactly what to do with it, but these two I used mostly for this look. And yeah, I really do like those. And then the last thing we got, which is the star of the show, is the pie palette. This I have continued to use so, so often. So, so cute with the lip too. <laughs> I love that. But the color story, the packaging, the shimmers, the mattes, the blush, so, 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 so good. I love everything about this. I need Glam Light to do this all the time. <laughs> I might actually like every mini, I say mini, every smaller palette like this, I will definitely be thinking about buying. I really, really want the cake palette. I've heard such great things about that one. And that color story is yes, <laughs> I need it. Um, Cause it has a little bit of depth to it. The ice cream one I like, but it has a lot of pastel shades and it's not really for me, but so so beautiful the packaging so perfect for the holidays beautiful like small perfect and i just i i'm absolutely in love with it so that was definitely the star of the box but everything in there is really nice i'm glad to have them in my collection these i'm gonna definitely keep using especially in the holiday season i'll break them out especially for a video or something uh the lip products Yes, love. Um, lashes will be in a giveaway. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and try on. Um, so this was the Glam Light Foodie Box for the holiday edition. And I really, really love this box. 
Um, I think it was like $35 or $45. So great price for this bundle. And yeah, I would have paid that just for the palette. Well, would I? I'd have paid, I would pay like 30 something for this, but so, so cute. Everything in here, great price, great quality. I do wish the lip products weren't as scented as they are, or at least if they had the cake scent, I would like that. But everything else, really, really enjoyed. So thank you so much for clicking. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay happy, healthy, and safe this holiday season and into the new year. So thank you so much for watching. Please, Please smash that like button and subscribe to join my little family here. I am so happy to have everyone that I already have and I would love some new new friends as well. So thank you so much for watching and I, YouTube should be recommending a video for you to watch if you'd like to watch some more and I will link my unboxing playlist in the cards and in the description box if you'd like to watch some more of this. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!